Yes guys, Mr P here. I hope you are well. Now with this past half term being one of the toughest and most challenging half terms known to any teacher or school staff member, I just want to start off by saying a massive well done to everyone. Parents, teachers, school staff for all their hard work and dedication with all the remote learning. But I did put out on my socials asking you guys to share some of your funny remote learning stories and you have not disappointed. Now I've got to say I've only just scraped the surface here. There are so many stories I've yet to read so there may well be a little follow up to this video and if you've got a funny story let me know in the comments but let's check out some of your funny remote learning mishaps teaching phonics to a dad instead of the child whilst they lounged on the sofa and joined in with every single sound I mean to be fair that's procrastination at its best I'd rather be doing that than doing any sort of work but fair play to the dad for wanting to get involved and get the head round so they can support the child at home well played sir I had a little girl cut her hair with scissors. I had to yell, stop cutting your hair. She looked at me surprised that I could see her. Drop the scissors and turn the camera off. Probably so she could carry on, eh? And God only knows what she must have looked like, the state of her when the camera came back on. You'd be straight on the phone to the parents. Um, just to let you know, your little angel is in the back there giving herself two round the back and the sides. I started a year four Zoom meeting in a rush, clicked admit all, and as normal started it with the cameras off. As the children started turning their cameras on and getting sorted for the meeting, and the meeting, not, not lesson, the meeting, that's what's going on in year four, I noticed that one of the tiles that still had their camera off had the name <laughs> Kezat Love Scott across the middle. Um, absolute panic setting. Not long after the camera turned on and the name became less obvious. The child changed the name and all was well. I pointed out the mistake to my TA who found it hilarious as I'm sure everyone listening to this will as well. Following the meeting, I received an email from the mum of the child who explained that the name was left over from a quiz night, a boozy one I'm sure, um, and that they'd, they'd recently held and copied her husband into the email, giving him the opportunity to apologise for his childish sense of humour. He proceeded to email me from his work email, signed company director. She has since told me her child thought it was Keza loves slots. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which is worse. Pulled a muscle in my hip while filming a TikTok for my class seesaw. Uh, well, if that teaches us anything, it's that us oldies need to stay away from these young trends. Look after our body. Short and sweet this one. A parent joining my live lesson in the bath. No thanks. My husband trumping while I pre-recorded a lesson. Brilliant. And I can guarantee that's not a silent but deadly one either. A child threw up on camera. After clean up, mum said, could he just lay on the floor and listen? <laughs> yes, you can, my friend. Take it easy. One of the more disturbing ones, a dad rubbing baby oil in his tummy in the background. <laughs> Why? Why would anyone be doing that? <laughs> I mean, in the middle of the day, Who's rubbing, who's rubbing baby oil in the stomach anyway? But let alone on camera while your child's trying to do the remote learning. What is wrong with some people? On Google Meets, a child showed me and the class around her house and showed her mum on the toilet. <laughs> Get a lock on your bathroom door. I did an adjective scavenger hunt yesterday with my key stage one class. I asked them to find something old. A very enthusiastic year one girl dragged in a dad. I mean, if this remote learning isn't hard enough, the fact that your kids are now just pointing out the fact that you've aged terribly during this process, that's got a cut deep. What a burn without even realising it. I bet she thought she was just on it. Oh yeah, my dad's dead old. What are you talking about? I'm 33. I couldn't stop laughing. Unfortunately, her dad didn't think it was quite so funny and neither would I. Hello darkness, my old friend. I took antibiotics for a tooth infection at 10 a.m and fell asleep whilst on the computer. Didn't wake up in time for a 2.15 Zoom call. Oh no. Only woke up to job share partner's text message at 2.30. 2.30. Hey, hey, hey. I tell you what, you couldn't write it, could you? Rang school and they sent out a message to parents saying there was a technical hitch. Good save. If in doubt, 
blame teams. So embarrassed, but head and all staff are more worried about me getting enough rest and getting better soon. Good on them. But I'll tell you what's given me an idea if I end up binging on a couple of extra Netflix episodes and accidentally sleep in past nine. Of course I'm joking. It wasn't a child, but as I was waiting for children to join our class story on Google Meet, a parent whispered off mic to their child, Are you sure you've got pants on? <laughs> well, every teacher knows you don't have to do your remote learning with pants on anyway, so who cares? Math starter on Teams, Mrs Tyrrell. Name these shapes. Awesome child from class. I will name the triangle Charlotte. <laughs> she wasn't even trying to be funny. Completely straight faced and genuinely thought it was a fine answer. As it was. I mean, within the answer, she's answered the question. I will call this triangle Charlotte. So, you know what? She is awesome. During a live Zoom lesson, one of the year three kids learning from home needed the toilet. And isn't it amazing how many children who are in their own home will still ask you virtually if they can have permission to go to the toilet. So instead of leaving the tablet and coming back to it, the phantom Pua brought the tablet into the toilet. Most likely didn't realise it was unmuted and myself and about 50 other children could hear all of the glorious toilet activities. Why would you describe it as glorious? Completely threw me off and you could see all the other kids giggling away as I was frantically trying to scramble through the participants to find who was unmuted and even heard the toilet flush. Cue a swift email from the SLT reminding parents about supervising the children at all times. But here's the thing, I bet the child, child didn't even do that by accident. They purposely wanted you to hear those noises because it was a subtle cue to let you know that that lesson was absolute poo. And there we have it guys, there's the first collection of some of your remote learning mishaps. If you think you've got a funnier, better story, let me know in the comments and you might feature in the next one. Take care of yourselves, enjoy the half term, see you again.